Y254. Imagine. Good evening to you and thank you so much for tuning in to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and you are watching The Power Talk Show. Now this evening I want us to discuss something that really affects every single individual. We want to understand how can we manage stress. In recent months we have been understanding mental health and really going deeper into the issues that trigger mental health and stress is one major factor. And given the times and the generation, there are so many influences that can influence the stress level of an individual from a child to the elderly. So I want us to go deeper, understand what causes stress and how we can manage it. And joining me today is Sharon Bouvi, who is an entrepreneur and a psychology trainee. Welcome Sharon. Thank you. You look lovely. Thank you. So, <laughs> so do you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And next to Sharon is a guest who's basically someone who's been here, <laughs> Anthony Njenga, who yes. is a counseling psychology, psychologist. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you're very welcome, Anthony. Uh, thank you so much. I'm glad to see you. You look lovely. Thank you. At thank least, you. Uh, it's always you look, nice you to look see like you. You look like you're not stressed. Yeah. <laughs> but we will know. I'm blessed. I'm yeah. blessed and highly favored. But you know, people <laughs> who say that uh, most of the time they are normally stressed. When you say you're not stressed, you might be stressed. So anyway. We are managing our stress. <laughs> That's what we are doing. Okay. We may be stressed, but we are managing our stress. That's and we sure. thank God yeah. for the fact that we are here together yes. again. Yes. So I want us to handle this discussion. And I'd like you to engage with me on our social media platforms. Tell me what causes you to be stressed. How do you manage your stress? And how do you advise your friends to manage their stress? Go to our social media platforms, which is at Y254, and share some of your comments. If you have a question, ask me there and we will address that as we progress with this show. So I, be, I believe the, the best way to start this conversation is to understand what is stress. Mm -hmm. How do we define stress? Yes. Anthony, can you give us a definition? In the simplest term possible, in a layman's language, I think to me stress is a challenge. Yeah? Like a normal life challenge. It, might be no, it can be normal and to the extreme it might be abno abnormal. Now when it becomes that more abnormal, that's where we develop issues like depression. But I'd say stress to me is just a normal life challenge of which you need to understand there is good stress and there is bad stress. But to me, I'd say we all need stress at some point mm. in order to keep us moving. I feel like we need to bring it back to there because yes. why do we need stress? <laughs> <laughs> the good I, stress. Yeah. The good stress. Definitely. Exactly. When we specify it like that, it's yes. better. Because most yes. people would argue that. Yes. They don't add stress. Like, it's actually a phrase that we say, stacky mm -hmm. stress mm -hmm. as Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Sharon, how would you define stress in your life? I think I'd choose to differ with you. For me, there's no good stress or bad stress. Stress <laughs> is stress. <laughs> Anything that gets you pressured up, mm -hmm anything that makes you feel like something is not okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is stress. Because there are times you can find yourself, like you, for example, or you or I at work, yes. and you constantly have these deadlines to meet, mm -hmm. and you realize, today, I cannot. And that's pressure. Yeah. And at times, there's no, there's no good or bad stress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, Anthony. You know, Anthony. you know your stress? Mm -hmm. You know what is your stress? Mm -hmm. You know what is this stress? Mm -hmm. Now, when I say the good stress, there's the positive stress. The stress that, skip, that keeps you moving. For example, uh, let me use a very good example. A po the positive stress is like, uh, to say, me, uh, like right now, I was rushing in here. Right? Yes. I may be stressed that I'm late, but I know the impact I'm coming to bring here is more valuable. You get what I'm trying to say? So th to, to me, that is... <laughs> Sharon is like, mm -mm. Good stress. There's that yeah. stress that keeps you moving. The good stress that keeps you going. For example, uh, 
you have you, you have a business plan in mind eh? yep. and maybe that business plan is giving you too much stress but at the end of the day you really want to see this business plan uh, working out yeah. because you know what impact or you know what uh, the, the good or the bigger picture of that business that it will bring to your life. So to me I'd say there is a positive stress, the good stress. And that's why I've asked her if she knows you stress or distress, which is in Google, by the way. Allow me to, allow <laughs> me to say <laughs> this. I believe there's the male version of stress okay. and the female version of stress okay. because for me, mm -hmm. there's no good or bad stress. <laughs> like, as so long as I feel pressured, mm -hmm. uh -uh, whether it's going to be of positive impact mm -hmm. or not, okay. I think, if I, if I may say, my husband is like that. Okay. He's like, there's stress that can motivate me to do something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, on this other side, for me, I'm like... So to her, the there's stress, in, there is a gender stress. <laughs> which is not even this research. I'm talking about research. There's useless and distress. There's motivational stress. There's positive stress that keeps you moving. There's nothing like gender in stress. No. So in, in <laughs> w what basically you're saying, Anthony, is yes. if stress motivates you to do better or to achieve something, then it's good stress. It's good stress. Then if it just stresses you out and you wonder what next, then that's bad stress. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's useless and there's distress. And that's the thing. Mm. There's good, there's bad stress. And there is positive stress. And is this affected by the individuals? Because I can tell both of you are different. Yes, yes. And to Sharon, even that stress that motivates her, it's okay. like, mm -mm. yes. No, that's still stress. Yes. So is it because individuals are different, or what? What influences that? I think I'd say yes. Individuals may di may, may, may differ at some point, eh? uh, but one thing about stress eh, is that at some point in life, honestly, you'll meet stress. You cannot avoid stress. You can manage stress, but you cannot avoid stress. Mm. And how you deal with, with, with the stress is all that matters. You understand? So yeah. there is individualism in it, how you handle it. But also, I'd like to say there is also, uh, stress is actually so normal, but how you manage it, how you deal with it, is what is important. So if you deal with stress in a positive way, if you deal with it in a, maybe in a good way that motivates you, keeps you going, then I think, to me, that's good stress. Or what do you think? <laughs> Sharon is still like, mm -mm. So, can you tell us yes. what are some of the things that he would describe as good stress mm -hmm. that still you feel like in your life are things that you can do without? As be, uh, you know, you're a parent, you're a mom, and you're a business owner. So what are some of the things that maybe would motivate you to be better as a parent and you still feel like, mm -mm, I can really do without this? I think... One of the things that probably stresses me is having a help at home, a nanny, a house help. And for me, it got to a point where I'm like, you know, when a help comes in, we were talking with a lady today, and we agreed on one thing. When they come, they shift the ambience in the house. You can no longer do this. You can no longer dress like this. You can no longer. And you have to keep reminding this person most times, with, without even sugarcoating, mm -hmm. some usually take, usually use up things more than they would. And after having a few, I got to that point of, you know what, I can do without. Yes, I need the help. But when I remember everything I have to go through with them, I'm like, yo, thank you. <laughs> it's not necessary. I will look up, I will do the laundry, I will cook, I will do everything, and I'll be okay. Mm. Because when I think of she's coming, she's going to do this, she's going to... Eh. The uncertainty of who this person is. The anxiety of someone coming in. Maybe you won't agree. Maybe you have to keep telling them, don't do that, do this, don't do... Yes. The attitudes that are there. We are women. Yeah. 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 Yes. So and is it the way you also give an example that your husband is kind of different? Mm -hmm. Your husband will reason like Anthony. Do you think it's because women tend to worry more and invest emotionally yes. more than men do? Yes, that I would say because when I'm thinking about a help, I'm thinking, for him on the other side is like, do you need help in the house? Mm -hmm. Do you need the children taken care of? Do you need, then why don't you have one? But on the other side, I'm thinking, atakuja, ndabadilisha venye nakaa kwa nyumba, 
siju you know yeah. nikinunua skari kilo moja inanipeleka this long mm. akikuja itanipeleka siku mbili mm. when you think about all that mm. you're like there's no point i can still yeah. move another day without it in short yes. in short you're overthinking about it eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, there is an aspect of overthinking if i can say i'm an overthinker then yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> i i, I yes, understand yes, what yes. she's yes. saying because mm, yes. i've i've had stories over yeah the help coming in, mm. they even wear your clothes, That's true. they cross That's some boundaries. Yeah. And you know, men will not really mm. care about things like that. They're like, sure. you're taking care of the kids, you're mm. here, you're cooking, you're cleaning. Yes. The, the salary is paid, that's it. Mm. But women have to, because they help run the household more. Mm. So women are more invested in that. Okay. And then Now, is it different in business? In business, not per se, because I think in business, for me, I've chosen to take a day at a time. I've chosen to just handle what I can, what I cannot. We probably face it tomorrow because yeah. as you've just analyzed, as you've just psychoanalyzed me, I'm an overthinker. Okay. So I will go the extra mile. I will go to the shamba. I will, I will even get into my customer's kitchen in my head, you know. Yeah. So the one thing I think works for me is, can I do it? No. Will it stress me somehow? So what do I do? Avoid it, it and run. Oh. Yeah, I won't say it is good, but does it help me manage my stress? Mm. Yes, it That's does. That's your personal coping mechanism. Yes. And uh, Anthony, yes. what other factors would you say affect people and cause stress in situations where someone maybe is not a parent, they're a student or they're just working? What are some factors that really cause people to have stress? Uh, loss of job. Uh, economic crisis like right now let's let me speak in this perspective of uh, how things are you know there is uh, the issue of infl fluctuation in the you know the dollar and kenya shillings economic uh, economically it took sour as a country so i'd say uh, unapata wengine hata hakuna jobs you know and uh, also unapata also uh, when it comes to stress una watu wanakonga stressed when they l uh, when they lose you know loss can cause you stress Yes. And actually, in loss, it can cause you stress to a point it can get you to depression because they are the first, they are four stages of uh, loss and grief. Eh? But I agree with what she has said, uh, first of all, eh, because uh, you know, when she has talked about avoiding, which you know, there are four A's of stress management. We are, we're going to talk about it. Eh? Yeah. And the first one is avoid, the second one is alter, the third one is adapt, and, this, and the fourth one is accept. And I agree with the avoiding. Avoiding unnecessary uh, stressful situations, which is, a, which is a good thing. But I'd say, and I'll still insist, at times uh, uh, we find ourselves in stressful situations that uh, we might really not get over the same, but we have to manage. For example, loss. You know, there's nothing you can do about loss. There are things we cannot change about loss. You know, when you lose a partner, when you lose someone, you know, there are things we cannot change about it. And uh, most of the time as human beings, no human beings are so emotional. Eh? We tend to put that into our mind, into our, our emotional state, and it affects us to a point it makes us even uh, maybe get into depression, have these signs and symptoms. But uh, I'd say it's good also uh, to really check yourself, eh? have that self-analyzing eh, of yourself. And know if is this issue that I am stressing about, if it's loss, if it's maybe loss of a job, loss of a partner, if it's, uh, for example, family, is it worth it? Because you know there are things that are not worth stressing yeah. about. For example, uh, you're, you're dating a partner and your partner is so toxic and you love them so much and you have broken up. You know, yes, as much as you love this person, you know, at least you have to thank God for that. Yes, hey, you thank God for yes. that. Yes, I, I know it is stressing. I can imagine it can even get to uh, a point depression. you're depressed. Yeah. But... Uh, there are things we have to cope with in life. You know, uh, one thing that affects us, that makes us stress, is expectations. We live in sure. expectations as human mm. beings. We expect a lot. If, uh, if, we, if we get into something, we expect it will work out. If we do this and that, we expect too much. Yeah. And there's one thing we need to understand. It's okay to lose people. It's okay if things don't work out. Sure. If the moment we get to understand some of these things, then I think that's where we need to start from when it comes to managing the stress. Mm. And I like that you brought up, especially with the relationship aspect, yes. walking away from a relationship yes. and the expectations, because it's mm. not just our own expectations, exactly. it's the expectations of our parents, yes. our friends, yes. society. Yes. And I, I had a very unfortunate story 
of a young boy in uh, Kisumu County, I believe, mm. who committed suicide in his classroom. Mm. Early in the morning, went to school, left home, and the friends and the mm. classmates came in and found him hanging in the class. Mm. So this was a child mm -hmm. who was stressed. And you know, most times we don't expect mm. children to be uh, stressed yes. and going through things like this. Yeah. Sharon, do you think situations like that make you think the expectations that we place on our children can push them to levels where they can't handle it? Definitely. Um, as a parent right now, as a parent, I, w I think I'm expecting when my, ch my children start going to school, I'll be like, now? Because I know, you know, you know a child from birth, mm. yeah. you know whether they are geniuses, they are brilliant, yes. you know your child. Exactly. So for me, I think in that part of expecting, it is something I really pray I do not have. Mm -hmm. Because you go to, s you take a child to school, they start performing, the teachers are like, hey, your child is bright, your child is clever. And there are different stages of life, yes. even in children. Yes. They can start up school and they can be very sharp and they can be doing it. But then there can be bullying in school and this child will react differently mm -hmm. yes. remember i now know what stress is i can see it i can point it out but a child cannot and that is when you see children they start bedwetting mm -hmm. they start being repulsive they start arguing they start beating other children up so i don't think having those expectations i would want my children to know at the end of the day my mom has my back you can come to me and tell me, hey, mom, this teacher did this, or this, this boy in school, or this girl in school did this, and yes. I'll be there to walk with you because yes. I want you to, re to remember. I want you to know who you are. I want you to remember this me, apart and from every other safe person. Space, even Not even just me, but the child, yeah. this me. I am enough. I do not, if I can share a personal story, mm -hmm. while I was in primary school, mm -hmm. I am from a very, very staunch Christian family. Mm -hmm. And while we were in primary school, over the holidays, the only thing we would watch was TBN. <laughs> so I knew mm -hmm. Miles Monroe, I knew TD Jakes, I knew Benny Hinn, I knew Creflo. I knew them because that's what I used to watch all the time. Then we go back to school and people are like, eh, Nili and Abash, eh, we did this, eh. Mm. And then they are singing. I remember the only song I knew was Boomba Train. <laughs> 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 so you can imagine you're in class and people are talking about all these other songs. And the only song you can relate with is Boom, Boomba. Yeah, that's the that's only, the only song. song. So it causes you to have stress. Actually, not really. But yeah, somehow because the other children put me aside. Uh. Mm. They would go for birthdays, they would go for hangouts, they would do every other thing. Mm. And where was Sharon? You're in the good. house. And that's maybe one of the things. I feel like, mm. I like that example. That was clear. I want us to take a very short break. And when we come back, I want us to tell how can you identify stress? Because you've mentioned some things that parents may miss or even us as partners, friends, yeah. we may miss. Mm. So let's take a very short break. I want you to go on our social media page and comment, write any questions that you have. Go to Y254, tell me what causes you stress and how do you manage your stress. So stay tuned. This is Power Talk and my name is Cheryl Blessing.
Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is the Power Talk Show. And right before we went on a break, we were talking about how we can manage stress. And I hope you've gone on our social media platforms at Y254. Write me a question, write me a comment, write anything that you'd like to know and we will sample that as we progress with this conversation. So right before we went on our break, we were understanding what stress is. We've just defined it as some challenges that really affect us and they impact our emotional state and our psychological state. So I want us to talk about how can we identify stress in individuals. Let's say you have a friend or a colleague. Anthony, how can I tell my colleague is stressed? Uh, I think the most common sign of stress eh, is when uh, maybe your friend or your colleague or an individual maybe uh, you're around with or maybe you know the silence. Like a silence fulani ukuwa very awkward. Eh? And nowadays, talking of silence, eh? nowadays actually squeezy watu to me silence. Squeezy watu to me memes ko na stress. True. Do you know do you know most people ignore when your friends post you, let me tell you something. When you see your friends post memes, at a wizi ona ni dot. Mm. You may be thinking maybe they're trying to entertain you or something of the sort, but maybe they are trying to avoid something. Actually, let me tell you from a personal, uh, personal stuff. Eh? So there is this, not a friend, but there is this guy eh, who was so stressed, I think depressed, and uh, really wanted to die by suicide. Eh? And uh, people didn't really know, because you know, you cannot really tell someone who is depressed unless, unless you really know, really, you really check very well. Eh? So Alikwana post memes. Now, in between those memes, there was a meme that was relating to it. And you know, I came to realize it later. And nowadays, and this is to tell even those who are watching, it's important to even check on those friends who post memes. Don't think that they're just trying to entertain you. But they, might be, they might be passing a message through those memes. So one of the ways you really tell an individual, I'd say is uh, don't assume. Just, if you see what menyamaza, but the problem is that, you know, the current world or the current you know, society we have right now is uh, we don't bother of what our friends are doing. You know, we are minding our own business, doing, you know, what it takes to keep us, keep us, keep us, keeps us, keeps us, keeps us, keeps us, keeps us moving. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's, it's important to really check on, your, on that friend of yours. Because you, honestly speaking, Sherry, eh, you know, even the strongest people are stressed. You know, you might be seeing your friends smiling. But in that smile, there is something they're not, not telling you. And I think I like the way you brought yeah. up memes. Yes. Because people use comedy and humor as a coping mechanism exactly. and like an a way to a way to avoid yeah. their stress. Yeah. I personally, mm. when I go on social media, I look mm. for a meme and I'm like, mm, this can relate. Mm. I can drop it at a particular time. Yes. So things like that. Yes. You may think someone is just being funny or they're just posting, but they might be a message behind e exactly. it. Exactly. So you have to intentionally be present yes. and ask your friends, are you okay? Are you dealing with something? Can we talk about it? Exactly. You cannot, yeah. you cannot easily tell if someone is stressed. You can, can at I, some point. Can huh? I throw in a, okay. a span? Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. What if there are these people who are always mm -hmm. checking up on others? Or rather, yes. it's no longer just mimes, but can it be that we are all stressed such that mm -hmm. I am dealing with my own issues? Mm -hmm. So checking up on you is a bit difficult. Checking up on you mm -hmm. is a bit difficult because mm -hmm. I have my own issues I'm mm -hmm. dealing yeah. with. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree with what you're saying. Eh? Yeah. But uh, what I'd say, you know, you come first at the end of the day. You always come first. I'd say try dealing with your issue at some point mm -hmm. before you check up on that person. Yeah. You cannot be broken and you're and checking on a broken someone. person. Yes, I will heal someone, exactly. And so, you know, there yeah. are also people who are empaths. They yes, yes. feel people's pain, yes. but they don't have someone to check up on them. Exactly. So you need to be aware of things like that. And I think we were also talking about this earlier, Sharon, mm -hmm. about the as an adult, mm -hmm. you can intentionally want to check up on someone, but then you get caught up in what you're doing in the present moment yes. and forget about it. Yes. Now, another thing I want us to talk about mm -hmm. is suicide. Because okay. the rates of suicide have skyrocketed. Sana. And it makes no sense because we even have kids who are committing suicide. Yes. Sharon, how can you tell if a friend of yours or maybe your partner or someone who's close to you is suicidal? 
I think it's very difficult to know when someone is suicidal because suicide is like the last among the last things that a depressed or last stressed of, actually depression. Yes. a depressed person because yes. we deal with as much as we were arguing uh, we were not mm -hmm. aligning when it comes to good and bad stress yes. we deal with our stresses okay. yeah but as for suicide I don't think, I don't think, because I, I know someone, we were talking, we were good, I was checking up on them, but then later on they come tell me, do you know I was almost committing suicide once? And it hit me because I was like, yo, we used to talk, we even had a heart to heart. Mm -hmm. So how did you get to that point? I don't think there's a way you can know when someone wants to commit suicide. I think mm. there is it's hard how? to tell. I think there is a way. How, can how can you? It might not be easy, but I think there is a way. For example, uh, if you're with someone and they don't really care what happens to them, like it's okay. 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 You didn't listen to some of the words they were saying because, honestly speaking, someone who is suicidal and is really in the verge of dying or trying to commit suicide, how they speak, there's a way they speak like they're worthless. They feel like they're worthless or hopeless. And also, there's a way when a kanikama hata hawa bother, they might start giving away possessions, what they like. Unapata amepatiana hii na hii, hayuko online, anda, atimona uko online, sina data, siya tiaizi afford, ni juanona hakuna haja. And it, even the way they, uh, you know, one thing uh, I'd tell you, and uh, I'd even tell those people who are watching, yes, very difficult to, uh, to identify someone suicidal. But the problem is, we don't really get to hear or listen carefully to what someone says while we are talking to them. We just have that friendly conversation, and we fail to check or to listen to what they say, even in that friendly conversation. So the moment you sit down, for example, the way we're having a uh, talk before the show started, is the way you would, uh, you would tell you would talk or there are things you would tell me and it would really tell okay are you okay you know if you see someone who is don't care ni sawa mimi hata if it's a toxic, toxic relationship yeah chata niwe ah unaendesha gari naendesha unakaa na mtu hapo kwa gari na mwambie hey na driver naendesha mbio like hata niko na haraka siaende mbio kabisa and that, you see that's reminded me of that meme of <laughs> when you're seated next yeah. to your friend and they just broke up and they are speeding on the highway. <laughs> you know, they can tell by mm -hmm. how they talk. Exactly, because of the conversation. Because I, 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 I feel like as human beings, huh, we fail to really listen deeply to the words someone says. We just listen to what we conversation. To exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And what if people mask it with being happy? Because there are people who premeditate mm -hmm. suicide. Yes. They plan the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And in those moments, because they know the outcome or they know what they're going to do, mm -hmm. they're just cheerful and they're like, life is good, mm -hmm. everything is okay. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, where is this wave of happiness and joy coming from? Ha what, what influences that? Do you know one thing I'll tell you and I'll tell even the people who are watching, yeah? happiness is okay. It's okay when you're happy. It's okay when your friend is happy. It's okay when your colleague or your friend or your workmate or classmate is happy. But there's that weird happiness. There's that excessive weird happiness. You know, the moment you show me you are too happy, it tells something. It shows something. For me, I'd tell. Maybe someone would not really tell. But for me, there's a way you'd be so happy, so neat, to a point, you just, it's a fishy way of trying to mask something. It is very difficult to know whether someone is going through a challenge. Because one thing, if I choose to hide it from you, I will hide it from you, if I choose to. But if you're keen enough to check my actions, if I call you, you don't pick. Call it the second time you don't pick, you text me, I'm busy. Try calling you again. Try reaching out. Try maybe calling someone who's close to you to see if you're okay. I reach out. That's a sign. That, but one, one of the, also the time you assume this person is dealing with a lot. They are working. They are maybe busy doing something of the sort. You know, the way I was saying, we, as human beings, we are so busy that we forget to see or to check the tail, tail signs of our friends or people, our loved ones or people we are close to. Yeah. So it's important to really have that if it's a conversation you're having with a friend or with a family member, a uh, workmate, a colleague, please be careful and watch even how they behave mm -hmm. or they treat. You know, say me for example, to a job na wewe, alafu, say me leo to me job, 
umeniambia by the way jamii sikukunywa breakfast asubuhi imefika lunch time lunch time imefika unaniambia you know i don't feel hungry now like you do it up i don't think so the following day did you eat up no so you see oh maybe maybe i try to keep fit you see we assume yeah. okay ah maybe ah i try to keep fit maybe i'm on a corner fat me i try to lose but now those are some of the things that you need you to put a yeah, exactly so as human beings you need to erase this talk of maisha ni yangu shughulika na yako yeah. we are so busy b- but that we fail to identify the telltale signs so it's important starting today when you're with someone even if you're not with them even if, if maybe when you try checking up on them and they show signs that they are busy 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 they don't even uh, check, uh, maybe get back to you uh, they don't respond back to your text maybe you send somebody else to maybe try and check on them but no response They're just avoiding you know, so you, you have to, to be notice exactly. things like that yes no i want us to read the comments very quickly and mm-hmm. then we can talk about the management of stress itself so timo you can pull that up so this is from mm-hmm. facebook i believe and we have weekly mugambi who says by sleeping <laughs> that's a very good way of managing stress emmanuel minor says watching from westlands thank you emmanuel Alfred Kura says, stepmom unable to reach the cabinet, son comes to help. Mm, I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Hemstone Mwingisi says, Hemstone from LD, I just read the Bible, I just read the Bible and sometimes keep thinking of what I ca- what I can't change. What I can't change, okay? Yes, yes. Okay, reading yes, the yes. Bible helps. I don't know how thinking of what you can't <laughs> change helps. What, what he's trying to say is, you know the things you can't change. Yeah. Accepting what you cannot change. Yeah, accepting what yes. you can't change is yes. better. We have Favor Mwangi who says listening to music. Nakuru Bahati tuned in. Thank you, Favor. That's another good way of managing stress. <laughs> DJ Makati says, Kwa kuskiza nyimbo za pastanga. <laughs> Does pastanga have? So, <laughs> I, I'm just learning this. <laughs> Eish. Okay, Iano Mali says watching live from Uganda. Thank you, Iano. Oh Matthew Gaidi says Taveta Boda locked in. Soma Bible. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Yes, spiritual yeah. guidance helps. Luis Ebilori Ebilori says Busia Amagoro tuned in. Thank you for watching us. Pediwa Saddam Veka says Theka Tulunawapata loud and clear. Thank you so much. Sunboy KE says, listening to any song mm-hmm. of Nandi au Yami, kwanza niki wana stress za mapenzi. <laughs> wana penda kusikiliza wimbo Yami ndio nalia vizuri bila wasi wasi. <laughs> and I think this relates with most people. When you're sad, you play sad music to make you sadder. <laughs> I don't know what, what's up with that, but thank you yeah. so much for that. <laughs> Na watu wa mapenzi, mwende ni mwach wa imashariki, kuna hizo songs kwa wingi. Mm-hmm. Ras Jerry says Kikuyu massively tuned in. Simon Mugonjeru says music and reading. Thank you so much for that. That really helps. Yes. So music for sure is the go-to for most people. Do we have any other comments, Timo? So we've seen music, yeah. we've seen the Bible, and we have seen sleeping. Sleeping is not. Sleeping is not. A, sleeping so is sleeping not. is a way of avoiding. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about how to manage. Like yes. Sharon has given us a very clear example. Yes. You avoid some stress. Yes. What if ni biashara? Now maybe you have a client who has demands upon demands that you need to meet. How do you handle Quickly. stress like that? Um, I have come to learn the art of talking with the client. Mm-hmm. I am very honest with my clients. Mm-hmm. If I don't have, I don't have. If I have and I cannot deliver the moment, I will tell you. If I'm if I'm running late, mm-hmm. I will tell you. That doesn't mean I do not have clients that are like this and this and this and we have the the client is always right, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. At times the client is just never right. But the one thing I have come to try to do is understand where the client is coming from. Because at times you will find a client has another service provider or they probably know where to source it from. But then you forget, I am sourcing it for you. I'm delivering it to your doorstep. Mm-hmm. I am going that extra mile that you find inconvenienced. Mm. So I have come to learn to just be honest with the client. And if I cannot, it's okay, thank you. Yeah, you just leave it. In the in the words of Abel Abel Mutua, adios muchachos. Peace. <laughs>
for your own peace done. of mind. Yeah. Yes. Now, what about finances? Like, Anthony, you brought up a very important point. Mm -hmm. The economic times mm -hmm. are stressful to most people. Mm -hmm. Everyone is feeling the impact of the VAT and the taxes yes, and the fuel. Mm -hmm. And uh, the youth especially, mm -hmm. most of them do not have sustainable jobs. Mm -hmm. I even saw a tweet, uh, I think yesterday I believe, where someone was saying most of the youth are on TikTok and they need to go work to avoid all these things. But people are using things like TikTok and social media as coping mechanisms. But how do you handle financial stress? Well, uh, financial stress, honestly speaking, you all need finances, right? And if we don't have the finances, yes, at some point it might uh, stress us, eh? which is okay, yeah? Uh, because at the end of the day, you know, uh, you have bills to pay. You know, maybe you're the breadwinner in your family, you're the firstborn, and you really want that money to maybe buy some few things here and there, and maybe you don't have a job. And uh, that that is that is really stressing you, wondering where you're gonna get, you know, to feed your family, do all those things for yourself with the finances. And uh, right now you don't have those finances, and the VAT combine sana economy nimbaya sana, you know. Uh, we are trying to see, and not only in Kenya, this is to say, it's, it's, it's glo globally. Yeah? Uh, you know, most of the time we think that uh, economic crisis you know, happen too only in Kenya, but yeah. it's globally. Now, how you handle financial stress? I believe, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you and I'll tell the people who are watching, you know, the things you cannot change. Finances, what you can do is just try, do your part, and leave it to God. Yeah. And I feel like also avoiding pressure. Because exactly. sometimes it's because of the pressure your yeah, social media. Avoid pressure. That's one thing I'll tell you back at home. If you're seeing someone on uh, Instagram living mm -hmm. their best life, they will show you the best parts of their life. They won't show you everything. So avoid giving yourself pressure because of someone else's lifestyle. That's one way. But the question I, I know they're asking, how do you avoid the pressure? Unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> There's something Anthony yes. said. Yes when he was talking about good pressure. Mm -hmm. If I can agree with you this once. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to finances, there's that good pressure where you can be like, probably I want to live like this person on IG. So what will I do? I will want to. There's, there's this notion that we now have, we can fake it till we make it. What are you faking? Doesn't work. Yeah. Why are you faking? Yeah. Instead, just go out there. There, there are jobs that we probably demean when we are here. Yes, yes. But those are the same jobs. When you go to other countries, you're going to be doing. Exactly. You're yeah. going to be sweeping the streets. Exactly. You're going to even be working in the morgue. Exactly. Why not do it back home? Mm. Mm. Why not just wake up one morning and be like, I'm going to Marikiti, I'm mm -hmm. going to go to Gedurai 45, I'm going to go to, is it the Gekomba, Gekomba mm -hmm. and go and be a, a, nini, a carrier from there. Yes. Just go. When I'm going to Marikiti, I see a lot of men there and they're like, Nikuja nikusaidia kubeba, nikuja nikusaidia kubeba. Mm -hmm. Go do it. Mm -hmm. make, your one, make your 100, make your 200, make your 500. Yeah. By the end of the day, haba na haba, Jazaki Jazaki Baba. Baba. So to deal with your own pressure, make it a good kind of stress. Yeah. Go out there, sweep the streets. If there's one thing I think I find fascinating is when you're happy doing whatever you're doing. You can be sweeping the streets and dancing. How many mm -hmm. times do we have we seen cops dancing and doing their thing? And they are shining. Mm. Yeah. Why not shine in sweeping the streets as yeah. you dance? And all those streets that they And I feel like also, about. I like what you've said. <laughs> and there's a difference between uh, mm -hmm. getting motivation from someone and feeling pressured to live like someone. Yes. So I would tell people, follow people who inspire you, who motivate you to do better, exactly. rather than people who you look at and you're like, oh my God, we're going to drive Range Rover. How can I get a Range Rover tomorrow? Because that's tricky. So <laughs> <laughs> right before we come to that, Timo has given me a comment. There's a comment about people utilizing drugs. Can we bring that up, Timo? So uh, the, the director is telling me that there's a comment where someone says they use weed, which is bang, to cope with stress. And if we're being realistic, people in this generation 
seek drugs and go to alcohol and whatnot. Yes. And I hope you watched last week's conversation. We were talking about drug addiction and how you can be rehabilitated because these are some of the factors that we need to free ourselves from. So please go watch last week's episode on YouTube. And let's talk about that. Anthony, would you prescribe seeking drugs and things like this to cope with your stress? No, 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 no. Unless a uh, common drug, yeah, drug is a chemist mm. but not bang and not nicotine or these hard drugs mm. because you know most of the time uh, people tend to go to these drugs or alcohol eh, uh, thinking that this will solve their issues but honestly speaking alcohol and drugs worsens actually if you're stressed just normal stress and you opt weed or alcohol it will make you now depressed mm. so drugs Alcohol don't really help. It actually wasn't. And one thing, I'll just repeat what I was saying. Most of the time, we tend not to really care about our friends because we are so busy. And maybe you have a friend, you now nanga na piganga shere kila time. Ana kopi ana kopi ni aje ni menda embassy ni menda this and that. Ni 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 ni. The following weekend and stuff. And we assume maybe ana jaribu kutoa stress. But let me tell you something, yeah. And I'll just tell you for a fact. If you see your friend or you have a friend who goes out every single weekend, alta kama si kila weekend. At a company you once, get to ask them, are you really okay? Because honestly speaking, as much as uh, most, most people would argue that maybe kwenda sherehe ni stress, ni kidogo tu, ati nanda tuku, ni kidogo tuku have fun. But you know, you need to really be aware of what kind of fun you're having. There's a kind of fun you will have and it will make you, you know, get depressed or have other serious mental illnesses. So please, if you're watching me, weed, whichever drugs you're using, it is not healthy. Please reach out. Come on in buyer and I'll seek help. Like you see Kimbia kwa pombe, you see Kimbia kwa madawa. All in the name of this will help me reduce my stress. It will not. Mm. It will worsen. If for anything, the only thing it does, yes. it is temporal. Exactly. Yes. Because if you're drinking or you're high on weed, when you're high, you're not thinking. Exactly. You're just zoned. Mm. But the thing is, after apple, umekunywa, how much have you used? Yeah. Umendo umekunyo, umekunyo mizinga kama mbili tatu, ume invite marafiki, umetafta madem. What have you done? Yeah. Because you're even spending more. Yes, exactly. you've minus from your pocket. So if you are stressed about money, ile kidogo likuwa nayo. If it's weed, you start getting addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And now even fighting the addiction, is another issue. So you're no longer just stressed, but you're now an addict. You're stressed and addicted. Yes. Which so is a problem. And you also said sleeping is not a coping mechanism. It is not. Is it because it's similar to what she's saying? It's a temporary solution. Exactly. It's so so when you wake up, yes. your problems are still there because and everything. Also, uh, just imagine you're stressed and you sleep. You'll be, you'll be sleeping, yes, and you'll not be thinking about anything. What if you wake up? Same, same issues, you'll find them there. So when you're stressed, read a, read, read a book. Deal with, mm. deal with deal, it. Deal with the root cause. Exactly. Yeah. Don't and what yeah. if people argue that? Because mm -hmm. I, I, we had a conversation, and I think one of the guests previously said, mm -hmm. they will sleep, relax, and then wake up feeling like they have energy to now tackle the issue. What if someone argues with that and says, Nita enda sherehe, ndio nito stress, and then, kesho subui, Nitaiza kuhandle hii, because I've had some time to process and think it through. What would you say to that, Anthony? Well, <laughs> I think what you're trying to introduce in, uh, to your body is what is harmful. Because yes, unaiza kutai handle, lakini are you looking at the effects, repercussions. the repercussions mm. of, even though, uta, yes, unaiza kuwa, maybe umesema inaiza to stress, mm. lakini health yako utakuwa mi effect, right? Yeah. Inaiza kuletea some very serious health problems, so unaza pata ma high blood pressure, just yeah. because of making that decision. And one thing, uki, chovia chovia, umaliza buyu la asali, umeanza kidogo, atikesho utaacha, ni kama nini, kama kuchora tatu. Tuwa mechora tatu, ni have conversations, na ukuchora moja, atisita chora. Unaendelea. <laughs> Unaendelea. <laughs> it's very addictive. <laughs> I love you. Huh? I love you realize at the end of the day, umeenda umekunywa, utamka na hangi, Utadili na hangi ya mutadili na shida zako. Mm. Mm. By the yeah. time, labda ulienda ukakunywa, ukagonga mse, mka fight. Before you start now dealing with whatever made you to drink, mm. you start dealing with 
other issues. Yeah. So you're kind of like postponing. Yeah. Mm. Whatever. Because hey. I think I've had a situation of this guy who was going through issues with the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So he got angry, was drinking, amenda highway, akagonga gari. Now it's a whole thing. You have to pay for this this person to repair the car. Wewe mm. mwenyewe you yako. You have to deal with the police. And still, the issues with your girlfriend, mm. bado ziko. Yes. So you would advise not doing that. Mm. Utafte. So what are the healthy coping mechanisms? You mentioned reading a book. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, number one, just read a book. A normal yeah. book. There are free online books online. Mm. Number two, journaling. Mm. Most people assume, or maybe wanaona ni kama journaling haita work. But one thing you need to do, just go buy maybe a book. It might not be a journal book or a diary, but just buy a book. Just start writing down uh, what maybe has stressed you in that day. Yeah. And in that journal, include a gratitude journal. What are you grateful for? You know, most of the time, we tend to look at our challenges, but we, we don't look at what we are grateful for or thankful for. I, I really advise, as much as you're journaling, have a, a space mahali, una kuana gratitude journal. Now, the other thing is reading a Bible. Me, I'll tell you for a fact. And people maybe might differ with me. I say, me, oh, told Adana, a pastor. Me, ni a fact. What is mental health? Let's define mental health. It involves four things. Psychological, emotion, uh, psychological, emotional, social, and spiritual. So, ata kama tufanye nini. Kwanza na iwa aldia sai, bila God. Manzea utayenda mahali. Ata kama utasoma Bible. Pray. Yeah. Nojo kuna watu mazee, chista kikulize swali, but... Ujiulizo lena church lini muisho. Ujiulizo li yomba lini yeah. muisho. Eh? Ata kama utasoma Bible, but try connect yourself with God. Which, or whichever reli uh, religion you're in. It is important. Kuna, yes, nini, Sharon. Kuna online services. Exactly. We have gone online. We have gone digital. Mm. Yeah. So you do not necessarily say, I have to go to church. Yes. Wake up on Sunday or even during the week. Kina Priscilla Shaya, Kina Pastor T, they have script, they have summons online. Yes. And you, you know, can. YouTube, Kuna, all these pages, at 20 minutes, 15 exactly. minutes, mm. 4 minutes, yes. they're all these things. Because I like what you've said, reading the Bible, reading, journaling, these are a few ways you can cope. And on a Zokuna stress, Zingine and Yoksimokuli, by your own strength, who is an. After taking a walk. Eh. And praying. Even just telling God, yeah, yeah, God, me, me, he, si we zani, na, me where we take it. Yeah. yeah. So let me read some more of your comments. Uh, this is uh, still Facebook, I believe. Young Teddy says, I control my stress by sleeping or by just calling my mom to give me advice. That's nice. That's a unique one, calling your parents. Uh, Paul Karanja Karaoke says, I'm just a hustler, not a manager. <laughs> but how do you hustle with stress, Paul, if you're a hustler? Wycliffe Mugambi says, by sleeping. Uh, do we have any more comments, Timo? Yes. Obed, Obed says, naskiza mziki, 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 na mziki pia. <laughs> yes. Uh, Katrin Shiko says, pamoja. And then she says, insana from Kaganda Moranga. Thank you so much. So I, I like the fact that that one comment says, they reach out to their mom. And Sharon, I know your, your parents mm -hmm. are like one of your strongholds so how how have you found them to be beneficial when you're dealing with stress that maybe you feel like it's way too overwhelming for you just listening mm. you do not at times i feel like we want to give advice mm -hmm. but the advice we offer becomes more stressful so sometimes just listening the mm. times i can tell mom my mom I just want you to listen, Osionge. And I'll speak it out. Yes. And I'll be like, yeah. you know. Mm. So just listen. And I feel like that's also, I think you as a friend, mm -hmm. you need, we need to learn how to listen to our friends. Because what you were saying, sometimes we'll hear, but we don't listen yeah. to what the individuals are saying. Anthony, you had <sighs> something to add to that? I see most people say music. Music yes. is okay, very okay. But there's a research that has been done, and it's showing that most of uh, the young people or people in this generation right now are listening to a lot of sad songs, yeah. which is not really good. Eh? Because uh, the moment mtu wako kwa ukiangalia playlist yake ya simu, imeja wimbo za... Heartbreak, heartbreak. heartbreak. You know, I went to a place, eh? It's a Beyonce. Machozi too, you know what's going on. Kuna mali nilienda na nikapata wa make a music. It was a place na huko ruaka. Anaskiza tu mambo nini, ananazi imba, anazijori na lyrics, 
And I asked, are you okay? And honestly, they said no. Mm. Because they feel like this music that I'm listening to, this sad music, it, 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 in a relate na Kenya na go through, yeah. na maybe it come down ama it, it ajaribu kuniondolea issues zangu. And you see, by just listening to that music, nikajua, hey, it's a sad song. Okay, are you really okay? Yeah. And uh, they were honest, o open, they opened up to me and said, you know what, I don't think I'm, not, I'm okay, yeah. but uh, I'm really trying to be. So, yes, as much as you listen to music, yeah, make sure it's music that inspirational music. Yeah. Motivation. Usiku unasikiza two wimbo za, I've been drinking no alcohol yeah. for the past. You know, that's a sad and music. And you're there relating and you know, like, like, she gets me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, una, unapata mtu analia, yes, crying can really be therapeutic. But you know, you can work on that issue. Don't yeah. feel like you're alone. Can or you maybe say not it even manifests. Mm? Yes, that's what I actually wanted to ask you. Mm -hmm. Do you think the words or those things really influence the way our lives become? I believe they it manifests because yeah. I've been drinking more. At times you'll find that person still has a glass next to them. Mm. So they are singing, they have that kawaii, you know, that kabodo, and they're like... They're drinking more. Yes. Mm. You're doing your thing in the house, you have your glass there, yeah. so it manifests. Mm. And I think that's one thing we need to understand. You know, I feel like in this generation, we really talk about manifestation and whatnot, mm. but the content we take in, the yes. words of the music, the movies we watch, mm. the books we read, and the people we follow, yes. they influence our lives. Because mm. if you see a reality of someone who's sad and you just listen to people who are heartbroken, yeah. no offense, yes. there was an album of someone who was talking about killing their ex, and it was very po it's been very popular this year. One thing people don't understand is they're manifesting that into their lives. So I hope you take that away. Be conscious about what you're listening. Even what, what you watch. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. I want us to wrap this up. Let me start with... Tuanzena Anthony. <laughs> Anthony usually has a lot to say. So let us start with Anthony so that we... Or Sharon. Who do we start with? I have a question before we wrap up. Yes. Apart from just listening to music or reading the bible or just reading or speaking it out mm. can we work on the root cause of the stress issue yes. because i believe just listening to music just reading just speaking out if we do not deal with whatever is bringing that stress yes. we will be going round exactly. yeah we will just be listening to music reading sleeping eating you know, yeah. because there are people who cope with yes. eating. Yeah. Yeah. But can we really deal with what is bothering us? I feel like we need to be honest with ourselves. That's true. Thank you. And be like, this is what is bothering me. Yeah. I need to find out. The root the cause. Not just, yes, the root cause and how can I handle it. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And let's, let's include that in your parting shot. Yes. How you identify it and how you even avoid it in future so that you take away the problem entirely so just tell us briefly and then just a parting shot of how people can manage stress and how they can find you on social media and your personal pages uh if you're watching me uh one thing i'll tell you for a fact eh, is that uh the stress that you're really going through you don't don't feel like you cannot manage it you can manage it and it really um uh, whatever what if you want to manage this stress you have to accept that you're stressed because you cannot change if you don't accept. If you're still in denial that you're stressed, then you can never manage it. You can never deal with it, if you, if you can really be able to deal with it. So it's important to realize what you do right now, if you're stressed, is what that really matters. And remember, you're not alone. Get in touch with family. Talk to someone. If you cannot be able to talk to someone, I am here. Can I leave my number? Are you writing it down? My number is 0725-029398. I'm a counseling psychologist. I'm a mental health advocate. You can talk to me. My social media handles at official Anthony Njenga on Instagram and TikTok, on Facebook, Anthony Njenga. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anth that was the first time he said something brief. <laughs> I always love having Anthony <laughs> on set. So, Sharon, can you give yes. us your parting shot? What would you advise someone who's watching you at home about how they can handle their stress? Number one, deal with the reason why you're getting stressed. It might not be easy. It might take a lot of energy, a lot of time, but make sure you deal with it because once you've dealt with it, once you're done, you're done, you're out of there. 
And the best part is also recognizing what got you there because you'll always be noticing it as it comes and you can easily avoid it. You can easily know how to deal with it. As Anthony said, journaling helps and never feel like you're never enough. You're enough as you are with your misgivings, with however you look, however you feel, you're enough all the time. And remember, you come fast, but yes. not in a toxic way, in a positive way. Thank yes. you. That was very well said. You come first. I hope you'll take that with you. So I want to read our parting shot for the day. And uh, this is by MP Neri, who says, one of the best ways to reduce stress is to accept the things that you cannot control. I love that. That is very well said. And that summarizes the entire conversation. Accept what you can't change. Deal wo with what you can change. And... Uh, be sure over what you can handle. So that's it for today. I want to thank the entire team. Timo, who's the best producer, the best director. Alan, the camera operator. Mwajuma up there with the sound operations. Mzito. And every single person on the team, thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you tomorrow we'll have a repeat of this show between 1 and 2 p.m. This has been Power Talk and my name is Cheryl Blessing. Imagine.